The manifesto moment, a mainstay of election campaigns. But does any of this match what's on people's minds? What I'm interested in is about the NHS policy. Anything that helps with the cost of living. I think the triple lock plus is of particular interest. The main policies that I'll be interested in are two, really, immigration and levels of taxation. The Sky News YouGov voters panel poured over every pledge as each manifesto launched, starting with the Lib Dems. They're saying they're going to increase uh, carers' allowance by £20 a week. This would benefit me and my, my, my husband and I because a carers' allowance is the lowest benefit of all. I like some of the stuff on police and crime. Uh, for God's sake, let go of the EU. We've moved on. The Conservatives claim their plan is working, but did it work on our voters? I think the general purpose of the Conservative Party manifesto is carry on as we're doing already. Um, some of the things I like the look of, the maintaining of the triple log. It just seems like they're throwing the younger generation onto a bus and just trying to consolidate that great vote. As for Labour leading the polls, but did their steps to change change our panel? My thoughts on the Labour policies are that they're all relevant especially those for education and on the environment. The NHS reforms sound very good and several of the other policies also sound good. But once again, how on earth are we going to pay for all of this? Manifestos are meant to help make minds up, but a majority of our panel still undecided. The elephant in the room for all parties is still the funding um, and it's still not quite clear. I'm going to vote tactically. Again, voting for someone I don't want to vote for in order that someone I don't want to win not to win. I still don't find either party leader to be trustworthy or personable, um, and that's really frustrating. Policies pitched and promises made, but it seems manifestos alone won't move our panel. Laura Bundock, Sky News.